good evening and welcome my name is Sandra my channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome how are we all doing on this glorious March day which is pouring down rain and it's cold but it's March so we're heading towards spring how are you all doing are you all doing all right yeah you sure you sure sure all right good okay so this evening i am coming to you with my glossy box for march so it arrived today um as you can see i have had my hair done i was in london today getting my hair done and my daughter's hair done i'll post a little picture of our hair do's i'll put it up there so you can see um my daughter's hair and my hair up there um so yeah really pleased i had to have i needed a trim so in order to sort of trim my hair to give it a, a proper little cut um, they do need to sort of um, blow dry it out and straighten it so I can get a proper cut so hence why it's the uh, sort of straightened look today I actually think it makes me look old it's such an old haircut but you know what I don't mind because I will um, one it, it looks sort of kept and professional which you know it's just good um, but yeah by the end of the week I'll have got it my hair back in its natural state again but yeah what do you all think yeah. it's nice to have my hair blown out for a change because it's not something i do very often i don't apply heat to my hair so you know it's nice to have it done occasionally but yeah i've got my hair cut today or trimmed i've got a nice treatment it was a nice treat gabby my daughter she's got a beautiful color applied balayage i think they call it i don't know but it's really really good so yeah you'll see the picture up there anyway so today doing my boxy boxy charm i'm doing my glossy box for march it is volume oh it's variation two there we are and that's my box i don't want to show you that but that's my box here there you go but before i open up this box i'll just give you a little quick review of how i got on with the february box so let's have a quick look i do make some brief little notes of what i received so we received five items in the box last month. Oh, did I say the box costs £13.50? Is that right? It's £13.50, something like that, if you buy the box on a per month basis. But because I've sort of signed up for a contract for the year, which has just sort of started, so my new contract for the year started in January, um, I get the box a little bit cheaper each month. So I'm paying £11.50 each month. So the box is, no, it's cheaper. And, you know, I'm guaranteed to get my box usually at the beginning of the month first week second week of the month so it's arrived quite early this month and i pay for the box so this is not a pr box or an ambassador box i'm one of the people who pays for my box each month who does a video oh i should also say i am going to be cutting back on videos um on boxes i'm going to be doing so um for now i am just doing glossy box look fantastic so those will continue um i am um, this month i will probably put up my treasure dress box when that arrives and i'll do my ipsy glam bag and box of charm by ipsy box when it comes going forward i am going to be cutting back on the american boxes so i will still be getting them but i'm going to be getting them every other month and i'll always get the month where there is an icon box so there'll be some months when you so on average it'll be every other month i'll be doing an ipsy box and it's literally just because i want to sort of cut back on my expenditure um because i'm getting a, a car later on this year so i need to be putting money towards that so i'm cutting back on lots of things so i can just make sure i can get the car i want later on this year yeah one of my treats apart from sort of beauty and makeup is having a nice car to drive or a car that suits me um and electric cars are flipping expensive so um i will be getting a, a new car engine this year i've got in mind what i want to get so money's going to be going towards that making sure i've got all the packages and things that i want in the car so there you go so yeah they'll i will be cutting back on my expenditure in the beauty area just to make up for the little extras i want to get in my car right anyway last month's box little review first item was the item that i was in hysterics about which i thought was a disgrace it was just laughable um it was the dr cosmeceuticals photo face this is a product that's been called blur face photo face it's been called all various things it's been from doctor's formula basically it's, it's a silicone primer which they give a very ridiculous price of 89 pounds for 
yes 89 pounds you did hear me for a silicone primer and it is literally pure silicone has it even got any other additional ingredients in it it's just straight up silicone and it's it's not that great um silicone primers on my skin because i've got um oily skin um initially they look good so if you just want it for just a photo shoot so probably why they call it photo face it will give you an initial great look but give it an hour and your face will look a mess and from what i understand some people get reactions find it drying your makeup will start to look a mess it's not great as a primer if you want something that's going to make your makeup last there are many other primers out there you know elf have got some great ones nice and cheap revolution beauty have got some cheap ones which are just really really good and they'll cost you sort of eight to twelve pounds for those kind of primers you know you don't have to be paying eight to nine pounds for a primer so i think you get the idea of where i'm at with this primer I, th I thought it was a disgrace i think it shouldn't be put in the box especially at the price they say just to bump up the value of the box i just don't think they should put products like that in the box if they're gonna put a product like that in the box give it a proper price a value don't use it as to say, yeah, our box this month is worth over £100. No, it's not. It really isn't. So that product, I've actually put it on eBay to sell. And it's actually quite funny because quite a few people have put it on eBay. And you, I think I put it on for eight pounds maybe um yeah you, it's not selling there's so many people have got the primer on ebay and it's not it's not selling unless you put it on for 99p um it's not going to sell that's what the value of this primer is at yeah just letting you know so that's the first product i've given it a score of zero because i think it's a load of crap there you go second product was from Loritzi and it was a lip gloss a nice lip gloss it's a decent lip gloss um it's in a, it's in a color like a, a pinky color that i've had many many colors like that in the past from my beauty box subscriptions I, I don't need it the shade of pink is actually it's nothing wrong with the shade of pink it's just not one that's that flattering for me um that particular shade so i did put it in the my giveaway which i think um went to she's changed her username now but i still call her pink poodle her name's jean she was a winner she got that she got the lyrici primer in the giveaway last month or a month before the next product was from um, Sophia and Mabel. This is another brand that we see quite a lot of in the beauty boxes. It's another sort of white label um, brand or private labeling brand. Um, various decentish products, you know. I've got a few sort of, um, I haven't got it here. Where have I moved it? Oh, it's not here for some reason. But I've got this rose spray, which I like um, from them, full size. Um, you get the odd sort of, you'll get eye masks, you'll get glosses lip 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 glosses you'll get blushes you get highlighters from them the products are okay from this brand there's nothing wrong with these um this brand at all when it comes to products um decentish quality um again nothing wrong with it and normal prices so we got a beauty sponge from them again i don't i didn't need it so i did put that in my giveaway as well um the next product was actually quite a bit of a surprise so this is from a brand called avant avant are another brand that provides skincare of very 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 high price really really high price products but their products are actually decent quality but the prices are stupid but you know Everything I've received from Avant, apart from their lip balm, everything else is decent quality. Just ignore the prices. So in this case, we had a purse spray. It was a fragrance, which is like, okay, it's a little departure away from the normal skincare. And you know what? The fragrance is all right. It's nice. It's a pleasant enough fragrance. It's not offensive. It's got um, sort of top notes with floral, but it has some sort of base notes. I call them base notes um, or things. I can't remember what it was. I think it was something like sandalwood or musk or something like that, which are kind of like the, or bergamot, something like that. But it was like the base notes that I like. I like more earthy scents. It works well on my my body chemistry. It's a nice fragrance. I've got it upstairs. It has been used. So for me, that was a good product. I gave it a score of one. And the final product, also a decent product, which I could use. And um, it was the Seattle London, and it was dewy blush in a sort of peachy colour. 
I am not normally again because I've got oily skin I don't normally wear dewy products but this one was actually a nice formula it was it was a bit dewy but it was also long lasting so I didn't mind it at all and for, when I put it on I make sure I put quite a bit on then I put my face powder on it worked well for me so I that was a good product for me so for me last month's box there was some it started off with an absolutely awful product and it got better um, but for me the two products for me were the fragrance and the dewy blush the two products I put in the giveaway so the the lip gloss and the beauty sponges they're a good product I just didn't need them and we won't talk about the um, silicone primer so that was last month's box it was all right it was okay so let's see how we've got how we're going to get on with our March box um, I'm trying to remember did I see a spoiler I think I received an email that gave a spoiler but you know what I can't remember what the spoiler was um, I can't remember what my feeling was about it either so I'm going in fresh oh we got a pretty box this month so that's nice so let's show you this and I'll do my thumbnail picture Ooh, my hands are a bit tired so crooked fingers today right let's put that down here it's a pretty box I haven't seen this style box from glossy box before so there you go so that's my thumbnail picture smile Sandra there we go but uh, it's a pretty box it's like a pale pinch and it's got these sort of crocusy imprints on there they look like crocuses have I got my flowers right I think so but yeah this is a nice box I haven't seen that before and um, we've got our usual leaflets hello fresh etc I'm not going to pay any attention to those so let's put that down there there should be a card in here which I can scan so I can get all the information about the products here we go here's our card it says spring awakening so that must be our theme let me scan Right, they've gone straight into the um the idea the they've with my scan it went straight to the first product. So let me just go back a couple of pages and let's have a look. So we've got a note from the editor. So the editor is saying, Hello, glossies, spring is here and it's time to refresh your beauty routine with glossy box. Say goodbye to winter's harshness and hello to radiant skin with with our carefully curated collection. From pretty cleansers to iridescent highlighters, each product is designed to nourish and illuminate your complexion love the glossy team okay so I think I've mentioned before that I have got oily skin so I tend to stay away from things that are going to that suggest radiance illumination dewy um, because my skin doesn't need any help in those areas but we'll see we'll see we'll, you know, not going to judge us yet let's go so let me go through the pages right so as I said, the theme is Spring Awakening, your spring beauty routine for radiant skin with Glossy Box. Okay. Okay. So the first item is from a brand I do like. And it is Rituals. I've got a big full-size bottle of this, um, which is actually my downstairs bathroom already. So, okay. So this is from Rituals of Secura, and it's a blooming hand wash. This is a nice product. It smells nice. It's like a cherry blossom kind of scent. So this is all good. So the Rituals of Secura Hand Wash Transform. Let's make this a bit bigger. This print is a little bit small. I mean, I've got my glasses on. They're very focals, but you know. <laughs> so you've got Rituals Deluxe Size Rituals of Secura Hand Wash. Transform on everyday routine into a meaning, meaningful moment with this hand wash from the Rituals of Secura enriched with rice milk and cherry blossom. The soap-free formula both hydrates and protects your hands. Um, and this, this size is worth £5.10. pence. So if you just bear in mind that my box cost me £11.50. So we've got half the value there already. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that. I probably will because it is nice to have a nice smelling hand wash in a downstairs bathroom. So I might keep that or I might give it to my sister to use in her spare um, toilet. Right, let's go. Next product. Next product is from... Ooh, Okay, let's find it. 
Wow, I'm seeing the couple of products here which I'm a bit surprised at. Oh, I'm seeing the brand. I don't know what the product is, but the brand is surprising me. So this is from Medicaid. So this is a good skincare brand. This is a good brand here. This is from Medicaid and it's a deluxe size and it's a surface radiance cleanser. This is a good product. Happy about receiving this because um, I've got a smaller one from this. I'm not sure who I got it from, but it was a smaller one and it's a really nice cleanser. Um, it's gentle, it's soft and it, and it thoroughly cleans your face. The fact that I'm saying that it thoroughly cleansed my skin and didn't feel my skin feeling dry, I wonder if it might be a little bit drying for people with dry skins, maybe? I would love to know what you think if you've tried this product. But I know I've tried it and I've, I really like it. So Surface Radiance Cleanser. Discover visible skin smoothing and brightening results that won't leave your skin feeling dry or tight with Medicaid Global um, Global best-selling cleanser. Surface Radiance Cleanse features a unique exfoliating AHA, BHA complex for effective cleansing of all skin types, um, particularly those trying to visibly improve signs of aging, dullness and uneven texture. A radiance boosting gel cleanser that transforms into a light foam upon contact with water for a thorough and luxurious cleanse. Skin is left fully cleansed of oil, dirt and impurities. Recommended retail price for this is £9. It is a really nice cleanser so I'm definitely vouching for this. So this is a that's that's a good product that makes me happy it's a good product mm. okay next we've got from floss which is another makeup brand i am not sure if this brand is still in operation i am sure i heard they were either shutting up shop or they were rebranding might have been just rebranding because I'm still seeing products appearing in beauty boxes but this is from floss this is a genuine proper brand with that retails out it's not a brand made for subscription boxes if you know what I mean All right. so this is a full-size product and it's this silky smooth highlighter is formulated to blend seamlessly with the rest of your base makeup for an instant glowing complexion simply apply with a soft small brush on any on any area of your face that needs a little extra glow and step out for any spring events with an extra luminous boost about your makeup. A handbag companion, this compact size is perfect for for taking on the go. So I read that really badly, I'm so sorry. It's because I didn't enlarge the screen, so it was a little bit small. Recommended retail price for this is £16.59. I don't think it's that much. I think it's a little bit less, but it's definitely um, so it's a proper product, proper brand. And I think if you like highlighters, you you'll enjoy this one. I've received this before. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking I've received that before. Might not have been that colour, or am I thinking of another brand? But it was definitely in the same sort of packaging, and yeah. It's a nice highlighter. I think I'm going to keep this actually. I don't wear highlighters that much, again, because I'm oily skinned. Um, my makeup is very old. I just refreshed my lipstick and I put some face powder on. I didn't put any foundation on today because I know I was going to get my hair face washed and everything. So I didn't put any foundation on. So before I came on camera, I just put a little bit of face powder on. But I will put a little bit of this um, highlighter on just to see what it looks like on me. So we use this brush. I'm sure this is a brush I got from Glossy Box once upon a time. So let's just put a little bit on. Okay. I've got my ring light there. So you're seeing the natural highlight on my face here. But we'll see how this looks. It's quite a deep colour. So I wonder... The shade I've got is Sunbeam. So I wonder how people will think who have got fairer skin tones what they think about this colour. I think some people might say it's a little bit too dark for them. Can you even see that? I'm very light in applying it because... Where am I going? <laughs> Where am I going? I always put a little bit on the tip of my nose when I do it. Can you see it on my nose? And a little bit on the 
on my lips, on my cupid bow. I can see it. I don't know if you can, but I can see it. So, yeah. Okay. Three products, which I'm not unhappy about. And that one's definitely covered the cost of my box. Well, I've got my value in this box straight away. And you know what I'm liking so far is that we've had three proper brands that are not um, products that are made for subscription boxes with overinflated prices. So this is definitely what I expect in my my subscription boxes this is what i like to see so i'm actually quite pleased so far so um even if the next two products are rubbish i'm not going to be unhappy because those first three products are good right next products wow lots of books have been listening they have been listening so the next product is actually a pair of products it's shampoo and conditioner from this brand in a sense this is another high-end um hair product range i this is color radiance daily conditioner and i'm assuming this is the shampoo hair but yeah i've got these two products or i don't know if i've got any left but i've had these two products before and they work really well on sort of afro hair the this particular one is for those who've got color in their hair which is everybody um so these are two products that I can use. These are good products. Um, I've the one I've had before from In a Sense shampoo wise. I think it was a hydrating one, um, which is sort of made specially for people with dry hair, which tends to be Afro hair. You know what? I'm this box is kind of doing it. Bloody hell, glossy box! Stop it already. You're gonna make me have a little. Heart failure here was shock, but these are the two products we've got here. So we've got the Innocence um, Color Awakening Hair Bath, um, a gentle cleansing shampoo for medium texture, um, medium texture, color, and chemically treated hair, which is me all over because my hair was color today. Get rid of all of that gray. And then we've got the Color Rages Daily Conditioner. This is a daily conditioner, so it's probably not so great for my hair. But again, for anybody else, this is fine. I'd probably use this as a first conditioner. And then I'll go to my deep conditioner afterwards. So this is a rich daily conditioner for medium texture, colour and chemically treated hair. I, I'm just really impressed because this is a decent brand. This is a good quality brand. It really is. Wow, guys. Um, let me see what Glossy Box is saying about it. but Because I'm just giving you my personal experience of these products. And I'm bloody shocked. Right, so you've got shampoo conditioner, deluxe size. Shampoo, revitalise a medium texture with this colour safe and gentle cleansing shampoo. Crafted with raw coconut and shea butter to nourish texture and, and honey to lock in moisture and deliver luster. Pumpkin seed oil um, preserves colour and vibrancy. The conditioner, revitalise and nourish medium texture. When they say medium texture, are they talking about... I don't know what they're talking about when they say medium texture. I'm not sure. Um, Colour chemically treated hair with this rich conditioner crafted with avocado, rice bran oil and shea butter to moisturise and strengthen. Pumpkin seed oil preserves colour and vibrancy. It's worth £10. So both products are, are about £5 each but I'm really impressed. Really impressed with that. Is there any more? Because I'm, I'm more than happy with what I've got so far. I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. What a box! What a box! Is it just me? But this, I'm really impressed with this box. So wait a minute, I just need to fill my head to make sure I'm in the right sort of um, galaxy, um, what do you call it? <laughs> I'm thinking about, what do they call it? Realm. I'm in the right realm. Because I am shot. So we've got two hair and, sh got shampoo and conditioner, which I can use on my hair. We've got Medicate, which is another proper brand, proper brand, decent, high-end kind of brand, not quite high-end, but a decent quality brand um, for a cleanser, which I've used before and I know is really good. This is um, by Floss, another, it's a makeup product, but again, decent quality brand again, nice quality, and this is in a shade that I know will work for me. I don't know if this is going to work for everybody else. Well, I know this is going to work for me. And 
we've got a hand wash from Rituals, which I'm really happy about, really, really happy about, because, again, I can use it. Bloody hell, guys. I'm just in shock. I'll shut up now, because I think you're getting the idea that I'm in shock. But this is a good box. What do you guys think? Bloody hell. What can I say? I'm, I'm in shock. Great box. Five out of five for everything here. Five out of five. I'm chuffed. Don't know what to say. I'm just not used to it. That's why I'm in shock. I shouldn't be like that, should I? I'm, I'm too negative. But I'm in shock. Guys, take care. I will see you soon. I'm expecting my Look Fantastic box to come soon. I wonder if Look Fantastic is going to be as good as this. This is good. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.